Auto thefts have become such a problem across Canada. The federal government is about to hold a summit to address the issue. In the meantime, homeowners have been taking matters into their own hands because police are having such a hard time keeping up with the criminals. You bet. Here with ways on how you can better secure your property is our friend Mike Delacqua from the Kingscape Group. Mike, always good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you guys. Okay, we're going to start with uh, these right here in front of you. These are yes. bullards. Bullards, bollards, uh, okay. tomato, tomato. Um, like you were just kind of debriefing, there's been kind of a, almost an epidemic of car theft that's been going on. And in our business, we've really seen this. We got a crew dedicated almost once a week going out installing them on our projects to kind of curb what's been going on out there. So bollards, we've noticed, have been an incredible resource to kind of protect your investment, your cars. And a couple options that I'm providing here today are... This is one of our most popular models from Ontario Ballers, a supplier that we use uh, quite regularly. Um, this one is a retractable one. We can't do it in studio today, but literally it's as simple as turning the key, you push it down okay. when you want to leave, and then when you want to come and secure your car, pops right back up. Okay, these remind me of what I might see like at a drive through window sometimes, sort of protect the yeah, building. Yeah, so you don't protect the building. Now we got the same principle, we're protecting your cars at home. <clears throat> um, and this one is our most popular model we're installing. You have to uh, excavate, put into concrete, just like one of our colleagues is showing right here. So that's the manual one. That's the manual <laughs> one, you got it. So you come home from work, you drive into the driveway, you know you're in for the night, and up it goes. Turn the key and pop it up. It's on a nice high, uh, hydraulic. Simple and clean. When okay. you get up in the next morning, you better remember to put it down. Exactly. You're going to have a little bit of, you're going to feel a little kathump. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I, go ahead. So that is the manual one, but then there are automatic ones? There's some really, so there's some automatic ones if you really want to impress your neighbors and have some fun with it. You can just snap I your fingers just like that and all of a sudden. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's on a little remote control. Oh, you did that. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I would be outside with the neighbors just going up and down with it nonstop just right? to play with it. Someone's walking their dog. Um, <laughs> now, if you want to feel a little, this is our easiest option for just the regular DIY on a weekend. This one is a really nice cost-effective option uh, from Ontario Ballards. Really, all you have to do, guys, you don't have to really do a big excavation, just a little bit of concrete, dig down about two feet, and watch how cool this is. You can just take it away, put it into your garage, Come back, and then when you want to leave for the night, same kind of principle right here. Oh, I see. So it's that's a, you actually actually a removable one. Wow. Okay. And this one's the easiest one that actually just that regular homeowner can do themselves okay. on the weekend and really feel that you're securing your car. All right. These are all great ideas when it comes to car theft, carjackings. Uh, you've also though brought some uh, home security tips uh, for us when it comes to our home and making it appear as if it's not vacant when you're away on vacation? For sure, so we've noticed um, exactly, you wanna kinda protect your investment, protect your house, because we know these criminals are out. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best ways is, I think we've always asked a neighbor when you're on vacation to like, hey, can you get your car and drive in the driveway a few times, put some tire prints or get a snow brush and kinda get the snow off my car? Yeah. So we have been installing a lot of heated driveways now. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything, the convenience that I know, like nobody really wants to shovel their driveway anymore. Very popular option. Heated walkways, heated driveways. Okay, so we have some, okay, so this is the installation. This is us lying, laying down the cable, okay. kind of pre-construction. Okay. Right. So is this similar to what people have been doing with their bathrooms forever? You got now it. The Great example. Now it's on going the, to the driveway. You, you got it. <laughs> oh my and there's God. a finished product. So you kind of come home and your driveway's done. You can be on vacation and it's completely heated. Okay, so that is... That is the, um, I mean, that's great. I'd love that done. But in, like, to your point, you know, at the very least, if you are away, ask a neighbor, ask someone to come by and do that and, and get rid of the snow on your property. Absolutely. You also brought, um, you recommend a certain type of salt also to get rid of the ice and snow, right? Absolutely. So we're going to get a little bit of a workout in. Well, Jeff can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I was doing so well with the automatic stuff. <laughs> we can put it on the... Uh, uh, two really kind of... Uh, don't really get a lot of credit out there is pure magnesium. It is okay. by far the eco-friendly, amazing for the animals, really protects your concrete uh, better than that regular ro uh, road salt or even the ones you see when you go to your regular big box stores, that blue salt. Okay. This is what you want. Okay. Final tip with regards to home security is also, let's throw some pictures up of uh, a well-lit property yes criminals love to work under the cover of darkness so the best best example you can see some of our properties we actually include into the pot lights around the house lighting into our actual trees our nightscaping there's a nice car in the driveway there now if you're securing your property throw as many lights on as you can because they don't want to be seen 
that, that is the number one thing. The easiest, most cost-effective tip right there is lighting. Mm -hmm. I might also park my, is that a 67 or a 68 Camaro? Maybe in the, <laughs> maybe in the garage. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. One quick question, because I just saw like that driveway, for example, was, is, was lovely. When you were installing these, yep. I'm worried if people have put a lot of money into their driveway, them putting those in, is that going to disrupt the driveway? It's actually a really, uh, it's a great question, Carol. It's a really minimal excavation. They're actually quite uh, narrow. It's not anything too crazy. You know the old kind of spade? You can actually dig it by manually with the spades. Pull it out. It's not that bad. Remove a couple of stones. That's that in. Okay. All right. Some great tips. Thank, Thank you, you so Mike. much, guys. All right. Yeah. All right. And thanks can... for bringing this in, Mike. This is just tons yeah. of fun. <laughs> We're going to have some fun with this after the break, for sure. <laughs>